hamster wheel that black women are on in the pursuit of black love only serves the men because it increases your desperation and thus lowers your expectations. And because it serves the men, the narrative will always be that you're not trying hard enough and you're not looking hard enough. Look at all of these token images of black love. It's not the numbers, it's you. You haven't found black love because you're not listening to men well enough. You're not giving the men what they want. You're not doing enough. You're not good enough for black men. You need to be doing what white or Asian or other groups of women are doing to keep their men. Black men's practice of comparing black women to women of other races is age old. You, your mama, and your mama's mama were told that non-black women make better wives and that you need to take a page out of their books and learn to be more cooperative. And every criticism of black women from black men starts with, you want to know why we date women of other races? But they can't explain why these relationships tank faster than yours. They can't explain why black men in interracial marriages have higher divorce rates than their marriages to you. They can't explain why black men and white women have the highest divorce rate of all marriage pairings both interracial and same race in the country. And they can't explain how your divorce rates go down when you marry men from other communities. If you're the real problem and Becky supposedly does it better, the math just ain't math it. But they continue to spout out that unlike these other women, you are not doing enough for your men. But who has done for their men in this country what you have done for yours? What women in this country marched with their men, were willing to die for and beside their men, shot at the police off the roof for their men, soldiered in every organized and disorganized crime syndicate for their men, kept having their children when the men had nothing to offer them, and took on the state with their men. So now... Your image has become synonymous with struggle, antagonism, aggression, and righteous indignation. You want to fight with white men on cable news on behalf of black men who are fully capable of doing it for themselves and wouldn't do the same for you. You backed them up. Now they want to tell you that what you bring to the table isn't what they really value after they've already exploited your highly undesirable strength for the last four generations. And as long as black men can convince themselves that your achievements, your education, your work ethic and your salary aren't actually valuable to their lives, they can convince themselves that your desire to pair with someone on equal footing as yourself is entitlement. Black men's ability to correctly appraise the value of something has always been inadequate. They sold out a continent with the most abundant natural resources on the planet for cloth beads and gunpowder. They sold out the civil rights movement for plea bargains and white women. Sold out that continent again for railroads and Wi-Fi and now they're going to sell out the future of this community for light-skinned babies.